Oh, my peaches, my eyes. Um, I tried to put my contacts in and my eyes were just not having it. <laughs> they hurt and started watering and stinging and not, not like the chemical burn kind of sting. It just was like, they hurt being in. <laughs> Oh, my peaches. Oh, my lips are so dry. I'm just... I think the universe is trying to tell me to call it in. Like, I should just... I don't feel sick, necessarily. I just feel like that sleep-deprived, worn-outness. Oh, my gosh. Very confused. Oh, welcome to the vlog of the laziest person in the world. It's a lot going on 11.30, well, 11.20, and I didn't sleep very well. I didn't sleep until 5.30 something. I felt really tired, and so I was resting in bed, and I was starting, I was on a Discord call, and I started falling asleep um, around 12.50. I was like, I'm going to go to bed. I'm so tired. And then I couldn't sleep. I was still tired, but I couldn't sleep until like 5.30. And then I had really weird dreams. And I think it's because yesterday I didn't eat until 2.30 in the afternoon. And I was starving. So I ordered some Chipotle. And I got a burrito. A very big burrito. I didn't realize how much stuff I had put on the burrito. <laughs> and so it was mahusive. It was like two pounds of food. And because I was so hungry, instead of doing the smart thing and cutting it in half, I ate the whole thing and my stomach hurt, so I think that's why I couldn't sleep. And then I slept until 11.30 or just a little bit ago, and that's still only, what, six hours of sleep? <laughs> when I'm exhausted, my math skills improve. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> Um, and I still don't want to do anything. I have things to do today, and I really think that I should go work out to not be such a lazy poo-poo person. Um, and <coughs> my room is really dry, and so my throat is really dry. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything, but I should so that I'm not, so I don't feel worthless. <laughs> Let's go be active in life. I don't want to. I don't want to participate today, but I do have to work tonight, and I know it's going to be busy because we have a very popular person's birthday. I don't know where to look when I hold the camera like this. To look at you guys. I think it's over here. But um, they're having a party, so there's going to be a lot of people there for that, and it's one of our bigger drawings, the monthly drawing. So There's like nine different drawings that you could potentially get into. And you could win all of them, also, potentially. And a couple of them are at $500, so that's always busy. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to stop explaining my life story and get dressed, I guess. I don't want to. So, yeah, Indian food thing tasted okay, wasn't good, wasn't bad. I only ate half of it. Um, I am a little down in the dumps, though. You might be able to tell because my car wouldn't turn on today. I was going to run it through the car wash after I vacuumed it, and it wouldn't turn on. So I tried jumping it a couple times. It still wouldn't turn on. Like, it's not even making the catch sound. So that means that it's one of three things. The cheapest and the simplest would be the battery needs replaced. November 2017 is what it has on it. So it's like five and a half, six years. <clears throat> then, um starter is the middle ground one or the alternator um so i'm gonna it delays just so many of my plans i had to cancel some plans i had this weekend because i don't know when i'm gonna be able to get my car repaired because in order to get it repaired since it doesn't turn on i'm gonna have to find either somebody who has a trailer or a tow rope to take it or i'm gonna have to pay to get it towed somewhere to get it fixed then <clears throat> Um, of course, um, I was going to pay off some student loans in the coming weeks. Like, I was going to be paying a $1,000 and something to try and get the one student loan gone. But now I have to pay for my car to get fixed. And I don't know how much that's going to be. It depends on what's wrong with it and um, 
if I have to pay to get it towed and blah blah blah. So that's that's that situation. Um, yeah. So I am kind of down the dumps. I have a lavender incense burning over there to try and like calm me down and have some green tea. I'm just going to watch some YouTube and some shows to try to perk myself up because I'm feeling down in the dumps and just feeling put off. I'm really glad that it didn't happen while I was out doing errands and stuff, though. That would have been really bad. Okay, so to fill you all in on what happened, it snowed pretty heavily. Um, we only got like four plus inches, but since that's the first real snow we had, I was like, of course this is going to happen. Um, but my car needed a new battery. That's all that ended up needing. We ended up just taking it out, going and buying a new one, putting it in, and then taking it to the repair shop. And I got my oil changed and little tune-up thingies. But my alternator and my starter were both good. I really did just need a new battery. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what happened there. I had to shovel the snow when I got to work. Shoveled my brother out, and uh, now my car seems to be hunky-dory, and life can go back to normal. Uh, I still might not have my plans this weekend, um, just because in case it snows more and it's terrible for driving. And this lighting, this is glorious lighting, like, ooh. I have makeup on and everything and you can't even tell because I'm so tired my skin's all dull and <sighs> oh I got z -Quil though I got sleep aid for tonight I'm, I'm knocking myself out with a temporary drug that's what I'm doing <laughs> hello again so this looks goopy this is an old t-shirt T-shirts that are really holy and stuff, I don't usually, like, just throw them away if I can't donate them. I turn them into rags. So I have on this Kiwi Parade Gloss Polish, which I think I showed before. I can't remember. But I am doing some boot polishing. This is supposed to help protect and restore and do all kinds of good stuff for leather or leather-like objects. Like boots and shoes so I just decided that I was going to revamp and make my shoes look better and so yeah that's what I'm doing in my life it's very very thrilling sorry for the seasickness there I only have one hand because the other hand's holding the boot which I don't know why I'm doing that it's not like the other hand isn't dirty too but uh yeah I have four shoes two pairs of boots that I'm doing that with Oh no, the, the thrills. Thrill a minute with me. Thrill a minute. Okay, I'm trying a new food. It's the vegetable. I apologize if I mispronounce this. Biryani. But it's gluten free, no preservatives. And it has. I've had an ordeal of a morning. Good morning, February the 18th, Tuesday. And I don't know why you needed to know that, but you do now. Um, I'm setting up some hot cocoa because I went to go get my, my, con my glasses were giving me problems to the point where I was getting like seasickness and headaches after just wearing them for a few minutes. So I went to go see if they could get, because I have very thick lenses. Um, I'm a pretty blind person. And so I went to go see if there was adjustments that they could make to them so that I could wear the new ones. These are my old ones, which I actually way prefer. <laughs> but anyway, my actual eye doctor wasn't in, so they sent me to see the optometrist who was in. And I didn't pour the hot cocoa mix into that glass yet, so this is going to be fun. Um... Isn't that a cool action shot? I'm such a professional. Anyway, so, and he was a lot more aggressive than my other doctor. Like, when he was doing the exam that he made me go to that I didn't intend on having, he was like, is one better or two? I think two. I think it's one. Okay, three better or four. Three, you changed your mind. Um, 
I'm sorry, I was under the impression that this was a different lens thing and I had to choose from. If they're not, why'd you do that to me? Uh, and if I said about the same, he's like, you're not allowed to do that. You have to, you have to pick one in my office. You gotta commit. I was like, okay. And then, I tried to explain to him, I have commitment issues. Why do you think I'm single? And then, um... And he's like, you're still having problems with your cornea. The left eye was overcorrected. I need you to limit your contact lens use. And I'm going to see you in a month. And we're going to give you this other prescription that we have today. But it might change in a month. Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, I went in there just to get my glasses adjusted. And it ended up being an hour of an unexpected exam with the puff and the poof and the bright and the... And I'm having the Lando Lakes French Vanilla. I really like that Lando Lakes has all the different flavors of things so that's nice uh yeah okay i am back home i have on my workout shirt and my workout pants are still on but i came home from my hit class which is high intensity interval training not just h-i-t but h-i-i-t um they did not plow the parking lot for the being very well there were like four spots just still covered um and if you don't know there's only like eight spots <laughs> so half of them were not available but i went to my class and apparently today my brother brought bought a snow blower he was like i'm sick of these shovels i'm not shoveling we're not shoveling we're snow blowing <laughs> so that thing happened i had a really slow day it always happens at my work even though I live somewhere where snow isn't particularly unusual, the first couple snows of the season, even though this is rather late in the season for the first real snow, um, I don't usually have people. So I was pretty lonely. I watched a lot of um, Love It or List It because thrilling life that I lead. And uh, I was going to come home and I'm full because I ate at work in order to go to my workout class and my mother made spaghetti which is my fave but I was too full and I was like I'm not eating that I did want some cozy hot chocolate though and then I was gonna take a bath but my brother's taking a bath and he takes I kid you not two hour baths um some people might make certain comments about that but really the dude just knows how to relax <laughs> hi so I just got home from work I hadn't vlogged but this is what I wore to work. Um, this necklace is what has this, and then I just wore my spanglies. And I have this like subtle unicorn eye going on. Um, my lip color has worn off, but it's lilac from L'Oreal Infallible. And then my teal wig, and like I said, I was running around at work all day. Um, it is about 12.15, a little after midnight, and I'm going to take a quick shower. <laughs> so I also got green tea, but I left that downstairs. I only wanted one glue stick, but apparently you can't buy them individually. You have to buy them in packs of 3 or 20. Um, I got some black polish for my boots. These things are all for some upcoming projects, including this little clipboard, this mini 4x4 frame, metallic white paint, green paint, red paint, glossy Mod Podge. I just needed some more deodorant and I didn't want to run out. Saw this stuff, instant sneaker cleaner. Apparently there's a patent pending on it and everything. Uh, but I thought, eh, I'll, I'll try it. And of course I was out of my dry shampoo so I replaced it I know I live a thrilling life okay hello I got some bright eyeshadow on today but um, I got to work super early because I had to do some more shopping we're trying out twisted teas for the first time because we've had people ask about them and we needed some more orange juice and I don't know how I'm gonna open this door like this okay I got it I have my other hand full of rags and washing because, like I said, I'm here really early, so we're going to go into the men's room. I'm the only one.
in here. And I got this stuff, this Kaboom Magic Cleaner. So um, let's check. You, It's supposed to spray, I'll show you because I left it in the women's bathroom. Oh my goodness. Ugh. So you might not be able to tell, but come on, switch over, switch. There's foam in here. It starts out blue and, okay, this one isn't done. It starts out blue and then it's supposed to uh, turn everything white when it's done doing its super cleaning stuff. It's the Kaboom Magic Bathroom Cleaner. So I decided to try it out on our bathrooms because they looked a little bit stained and stuff. So, and normally they just kind of get casually wiped down. So I'm gonna try and see what I can do here. So let's get cleaning. By the way, is this not the cutest little dress? Ah! It has a, like a little corset thing going on. Come on. The ending consensus is that really didn't do any better than scrubbing bubbles, to be honest. Uh, so that's disappointing. Ugh. I mean, I guess it did a good job on some of the harder stains inside the one toilet. I'm sorry, the lighting is crazy because the lights are so different around here. But yeah, so I gave that a go. And I think before I take the rubber gloves off entirely, I am going to wash out with some bleach our... This is so hard to do right-handed. I'm gonna clean out our ice sink with some bleach just to make sure it's really sanitized and stuff. So I'm gonna wash my gloves with soap because I was messing with, you know, bathrooms things. And then I will clean out the sink. And then I will finish getting everything set up for work. I'm trying to use this as a mirror for my lipstick because I'm like, I don't know. I, I'll just reapply it, I guess. Okay, so I'm all broken out, which I'm not happy about. I don't know the reason why. I just know I don't like it. Also, I'm it's, it's 6.40 something. Normally I would be at my workout class and my cycling class doing a good job. Uh, but there was nowhere to park. And I could potentially walk to the gym, except that it's 19 degrees out and supposed to get progressively colder as the night goes on. And so getting really sweaty and then walking out in the freezing temperatures, that's not safe. <laughs> not to mention everything is covered with ice. And from where they had plowed the snow, almost all the sidewalks are like up here with snow. Not safe for me. My day at work didn't get any better. Uh, like I said, I had to cover for my coworker who's called off every Saturday this year and she only worked once a month the last two months before this. As a friend and as a person, she's great. As a coworker, not so much. <laughs> um, then the other girl is leaving and so I'm going to have to cover all of those shifts and stuff like that. This is going to change my workout schedule again. Um, and I am feeling guilty about missing my workout classes. I don't like to. Uh, then it was really busy. The people didn't show up to fix the bar gun. That's a pain in the butt. And I'm just feeling stressed. And I just, you know, I took a bubble bath. I put on the cozy, cute jammies. And I, I'm still, like, in my head. It's not nice. Uh, but I'm going to say goodbye here. And uh, just before I, I end this, I'm going to say that I'm going to continue doing some weekly vloggings for the rest of the month. Um, I might do every other day daily vlogs in February. Maybe. Haven't decided. Don't commit me to that. Um, but also what's coming up is some Minecraft video game, maybe some Phasmophobia videos. Um, I'm kind of afraid to play by myself, to be honest. But there's also going to be some painting artistic videos like Mariah Elizabeth inspired kind of things because I love her. And there's going to be like haul slash unboxing videos. And um, yeah, so I will see you for all of that.